An impeachment may be made on the charges of allegedly committed treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors, and I have that in the Constitution. Uh, Andrew Jackson never committed treason. All the decisions he made and the actions he took were, in, were for, in his opinion and his party's opinion, the better of the nation. So this is not like solely on his shoulders. On no case during his two terms as president of the United States of America did he commit bribery of any kind. Andrew Jackson should be impeached because of his high crimes against the country and his misdemeanors. He has violated the amendments of the Constitution as stated when he violated the forceful violates the state's rights by allowing for invasion of said states by the militia, stated by Article 5, Section 4. He has also stepped over the boundaries of state versus federal government powers. And it is not, one's country should not be ruled on one's opinion of what has happened, it should be ruled on one's own power. He has also used too many vetoes too literally. He has used four in three years, as opposed to the zero that were used by John Quincy Adams. And the definition of impeachment states that the president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office upon impeachment and for the conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors, and when shall we consider genocide a high crime or misdemeanor? President Jackson has violated the separation of powers in his actions to destroy the Bank of the United States. Not only did he use his computers too literally, but by vetoing the Bank of the United States, he eliminated a major part of the economy. The bank was actually proven to be constitutional, and by continuing to lobby for support, he questioned the Constitution, and as president, he should uphold every part of the Constitution. His veto is based on personal opinion and fear of his well-being, not the well-being of his nation. President Andrew Jackson's actions towards the Bank of the United States are not grounds of impeachment for the following reasons. According to the United States Constitution, the President, Vice President, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conv conviction of treason, bribery, and other high crimes and misdemeanors. The definition of treason is the offense of acting to overthrow one's government or to harm or kill its sovereign. President um, Jackson did not do this. Andrew Jackson violated the Constitution by um, using things that were not for the benefit of the country. He violated state and individual rights, and that should be considered a high crime. President Jackson did not violate any state's rights or individual rights or violate the Constitution in any manner because all of the laws and bills and acts he passed were all approved by Congress, and Congress actually passed them. Good morning, Your Honor. Chief Justice Adcock. Finally, the last stretch of indictment that President Jackson violated laws, treaties, and court orders in his dealings with the Native Americans by openly refusing to recognize Supreme Court decisions, ruling in favor of Indians, and ignoring laws and treaties concerning the Indian nations. Throughout this, he has been able to secure vast amounts of land for himself and his loyal followers. First, he has ignored three rulings by the Supreme Court, including Worcester versus Georgia and the Cherokee Nation versus the State of Georgia which rule in favor of Indian rights, using a pretext that he could not interfere with state laws, while at the same time fighting South Carolina by denouncing their rights, Jackson has violated the Constitution by selectively enforcing his executive power. Well, that's a clause in the Constitution, which is Article 1, Section 8, declares that Congress has the right to make any laws necessary and proper. Um, a strong executive like Andrew Jackson guided Congress into passing the Indian Removal Act, which enabled um, for the president to negotiate treaties and purchase tribal lands and give Indian lands in the West outside of existing U.S. territory. If they weren't considered Americans, then we should be able to um, forcefully remove anyone insurrected in the area. 